guys, this is Archana from Edureka and I welcome you all to yet another session on software testing. Today's topic of discussion is sanity testing. But before we actually proceed, let's go ahead and take a look at today's agenda. So guys, we will begin this session by discussing different types of software testing. And then we will move on to our today's topic which is sanity testing. And there we will learn what sanity testing is with help of an example. We will learn how to perform sanity testing and advantages of performing sanity testing. Finally, we will conclude this session by discussing how sanity testing is different from smoke testing. So I hope agenda was clear to you guys. Let's get started then. So today's world of technology is completely dominated by machines and their behavior is controlled by the software powering it. So in this accelerating and increasingly digital business world software development and delivery is the key to build a competitive edge. Prime objective of any software project is to get a high quality output while reducing the cost and the time required for completing the project. Simple to understand right and to achieve that companies subject their software product to different levels and types of software testing before they release their product into market. So each of these software testing types have their own purpose. The type of software testing that you choose depends on your testing objective and requirements. Let's take a look at some of the most common types of software testing types that are used today. Usually software testing is mainly divided into functional testing and non-functional testing. So functional testing is defined as a type of testing which verifies that each function of the software application operates in conformance with requirement specification and then non-functional testing is testing to determine the performance of the system like to measure validate and verify quality of the system. Well under functional testing we have multiple types of testing like unit testing integration testing system testing and many others and the topic which we are going to discuss today that is sanity testing is also a type of functional testing. Similarly under non-functional testing we have documentation testing security testing performance testing and many others. So guys for today's session we will be discussing mainly about sanity testing. Let's proceed then. So what is the first thought that comes to your mind when you hear the word sanity testing. If you make a guess by its name then as the name implies sanity testing aims at checking whether the developer has put some sane thoughts while building the software product or not. That's quite close to actual meaning of sanity testing. Sanity testing is a software testing technique which does a quick evaluation of quality of the software release to determine whether it is eligible for further rounds of testing or not. So sanity testing is usually performed after receiving a fairly stable software build and sometimes the software build might have minor changes in code or functionality and it is sent for sanity testing to check if the bugs have been properly fixed. So what exactly is the intention of performing sanity tests? Let's discuss the objectives. First thing is to verify and validate the veracity of newly added functionalities and features. Secondly, to evaluate the accuracy of new features and changes if they are added. And thirdly, to ensure that introduced changes doesn't affect other existing functionalities of the product. Lastly, test rational thinking and logical implementation of the developers. That's the core and basic purpose of sanity testing. So basically sanity testing is surface level testing which helps in deciding if the software build is good enough to pass it to next level of testing or not. Well that's clear right. So here's a basic representation of sanity testing. As you guys can see I have three builds here and I want to send these table builds for sanity testing and once they are sent to sanity testing sanity testing is performed on them to see if any new features or changes are made if yes then if they have affected the existing features in any way and if there are any bugs were they fixed and all that are checked or performed under sanity test and the builds if they pass the sanity test then they're sent for further rounds of testing else they're rejected or you can say they're added to the rejected build list. It's simple right that's all there is about sanity testing. Well it's very simple and basic form of testing that's performed before any product is sent for further rounds of testing. So to make it more presentable and simple here's an example. Let's say the build which I just subjected to sanity test is a new feature which is added by Gmail. 
that's nothing but auto acknowledgement feature what does this auto acknowledgement feature do it sends a written email that the email which you tried to send is delivered successfully now this is a new feature and it's fairly developed so we already have a built that stable sanity testing is performed to see if this new feature that's auto acknowledgement feature is working properly or not and because of this feature if any other features are affected if not it means that it is successfully passed the sanity testing and the auto acknowledgement feature is sent for further rounds of testing it's as simple as that so to summarize sanity testing is performed when a new product or functionality or change is implemented to see whether the software product is working correctly or not it determines if thorough testing of software product shall be carried out or not so if sanity testing fails rigorous testing is not necessary to be conducted well that's well and good but how do you perform sanity testing is there a specific procedure that you need to follow well unlike other types of software testing sanity testing does not come with handful of techniques you do not need to script the test cases for sanity testing because you want to perform very quick and speedy testing so what i want to say here is that sanity testing is a very speedy and quick process of testing the application as it does not involve the scripting of test cases so guys the thing that you need to remember here is the main purpose of performing sanity testing like i have been saying from the beginning of the session is to verify if the newly added changes and functionalities have affected the existing functionalities are they working properly or are there any software bugs so that's the main purpose now how do you perform sanity testing it's quite simple well just three steps the first step is to identify the newly added functionalities and features along with the modification or changes introduced in the code when you are fixing bugs or you can say bug fixation process so the first step is to identify all the bugs new features or any changes made to the code second step is to evaluate this identified features and changes to ensure that they're working as intended and they're properly working and that's what we call evaluation and the last step is testing that is we consider and test all the related parameters associated functionalities and elements of the above evaluated features and changes to ensure that the related features are working properly as well what i mean to say is that the new changes or the functionalities or the bugs which were introduced did not affect the existing features that's what you do in testing so very simple right just the three steps first you identify if there are any new changes to the features and functionalities then you evaluate them and then you test if they are affecting the existing features in any other way if all these three steps goes well then the build can be subjected to more thorough and strenuous testing so if all these three steps go well then the build has successfully passed the sanity testing and it can be sent for further rounds of rigorous testing so that's how you perform a sanity testing imagine the following scenario you have several modules in your application you have a user registration form in module x that allows user to enter data and submit it the client has now requested to add preview my profile button in the user registration form which enables the user to preview his profile before he actually submits the details you got my point right you have an application multiple modules and you have a module called x now the client is requested for additional feature called preview my profile before he actually submits his profile or the details so now the development team has implemented the request according to the client's requirement the release in your hands and the build is sent to you so the release is in your hands that is testing team and you want to perform sanity testing so first you will ask the development team or the manager what's the new feature that's been added to the release then you'll get to know that preview my profile is the feature that's been added and according to that the code has been modified so then you go through the code you test that particular feature which has been added and check if it's working properly or not that's what we call evaluating so once you check that the preview my profile feature is working or not then you come to testing feature where you see if on adding that if it has affected the submit button in any way if it has it means that the software build has not passed sanity test else it means that the software product or the software change which is being made to the build has worked properly and it can pass to further rounds of testing simple right 
so by now you might have figured out certain key points of sanity testing if not don't worry i've got them covered first of all sanity testing is carried out on relatively stable bills secondly it doesn't require any documentation like i have been saying and obviously it's performed without any scripts unlike smoke testing which is performed from end to end sanity testing is just performed on limited functionalities which we will discuss about later while discussing the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing and usually it's performed by the testers not the developers so the developers are not involved here well if i have to define sanity testing in simple terms it's a narrow and deep type of regression testing and yet it's performed on limited functionalities not from end to end lastly it acts as a gatekeeper as in it helps the testers to decide if the software bill is worthy enough or stable enough to be sent for the further rounds of testing so these are some important features if i have to summarize it doesn't require documentation less scripting carried out on relatively stable bills limited functionalities are covered in this testing usually performed by testers it a very narrow and deep type of regression testing and it helps decide if the software build is to be passed for next level of testing or not so these are some basic features of sanity testing so what would you consider would happen if sanity testing is not performed so when a new release comes in the tester would put entire effort in preparing test cases and executing them and all that the testing team would thoroughly test each test case each functionality of the application and its user friendliness as well well do you see any problem in here no right but there is a problem The scenario sounds good only as long as new and old functionalities are working well and fine. What if the changes and the newer code have messed up your previous functionalities? What if the newer release is crashing down at every other action? Do you still consider it's wise to undergo such a release through the full testing cycle? No, right? This is where sanity testing comes in. It's really important phase of testing. So what are the advantages of sanity testing? First of all, it offers you speedy evaluation. it offers speed sanity testing has a very narrow focus for functionalities or areas to be tested like i said it's not end to end testing it's performed on limited functionalities so you don't need to script the test cases before carrying out sanity testing rather you can say it's very unplanned or intuitive approach to perform sanity testing next it saves lot of time and effort on testers part Sanity testing it determines whether the application should be further tested or not like i said it acts as a gatekeeper this saves testers time if the release is in a very poor condition to meet the rigorous rounds of testing also testers do not need to report the issues or lock down them anywhere this saves a lot of reporting time as well secondly sanity test identifies deployment and compilation issues as well Suppose a tester may face inaccurate user interface if the developers do not check all the resource files in the compilation. Sanity testing also identifies deployment and compilation issues. A tester may face inaccurate user interface if the developer did not use all the resource file in the compilation. Also developers may not specify some important features to make them visible for testers. A sanity check detects any such problem and it offers a quick solution for well functioning release. And obviously like we discussed earlier it does not involve any documentation well you can say very less documentation. So that's one more merit. And the other one is sanity testing gives you a quick state of product which can help you plan your next step accordingly. So if sanity test fails you might plan your development team or you can tell your development team to postpone the next task and fix the found out issue on the other hand if sanity test is passed you might ask your team to go ahead with the next release and spend less time on fixing bugs so that's how it is lastly compared to other types of testing sanity testing is really cost effective well guys now you know how important sanity testing is right with this we've almost reached the end of the session Last topic of today's session is how smoke testing and sanity testing differ from each other. Smoke testing and sanity testing are two very different practices, but people still get confused because the distinction between them is somewhat subtle. So let's discuss few key differences between them. So the first difference is the software build here. We already discussed what software build is. Well, if you're not sure. The term build is the process by which source code is converted to a standalone form that can run on any system. The smoke tests are executed on initial build of software product 
whereas sanity tests are performed over the bills which have passed the smoke test and gone through rigorous testing cycle or you can say regression testing cycle what i mean to say here is smoke testing is usually performed on very initial bills whereas sanity testing is executed on slightly stable bills than they are in smoke testing moving on to motive of testing smoke testing make sure that the core functionalities of your program are working absolutely fine so the motive of smoke testing is to measure the stability of newly created build so that you can move on to the next round of rigorous testing whereas sanity testing is to check if the new functionalities or the bugs have been fixed properly without going any deeper so the objective here or in the sanity testing is to verify the rationality and the originality of core functionalities to proceed with further rounds of testing talking about component tested throughout the session i've been telling that smoke testing is performed from end to end that a sanity testing is a narrow testing which is performed only on limited functionalities or you can say certain components of software where it's required next up is documentation usually smoke testing is documented and well scripted compared to sanity testing whereas sanity testing is not that documented and it's usually not scripted at all test coverage smoke testing is shallow and wide approach to include all the major functionalities without getting into detail while it may be seen as a general type of testing covering all basic functionalities but sanity testing is a narrow and deep approach involving detailed testing of functionalities and features it's more focused on certain features rather than from end to end and lastly performed by smoke testing is usually performed by developers as well as testers because it's usually performed on initial builds and initial builds are passed on from developers to testers and it's quite possible that sometimes developers themselves perform the smoke testing before sending it to testers but when it comes to sanity testing it's usually done in between the development of software product as in not on the initial builds so it's usually executed by the testers well that's it guys with this we have come to the end of the session so let's wrap up the discussion and quickly take a recap of what we have discussed so far while we did discuss what sanity testing is it is a tool to tell whether your software release meets the merit to go to further rounds of testing or it's too flawed to be tested it's performed when a new functionality change request or bug fix is implemented in the code its scope is narrow and it's focused on only functionalities that have been implemented or impacted by the change and lastly many people confuse between sanity testing and smoke testing so we did discuss the key differences between them well that's it do let us know your opinion in the comment section below and similarly if you have any doubts or if you have any comments please do post them in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible thank you guys and i'll meet you in next session with another interesting topic I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.